Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, right quick, I received my Glam Light Black Friday um, products that I ordered, so I wanted to share with you right quick. I tried to film this video yesterday and I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay, so the first one is the Wine Palette by Glam Light. These, the stuff that I ordered is not new, but I've always wanted to try them and being that they were on sale, I can't remember the price, but just know that they were really, really cheap. And so it's the Wine Palette, which mainly is purple shades. I don't know why I put it back in this plastic because it took me forever to try to get this out. Hopefully it won't be so bad today. Okay, so it's like the, you know, the drink book the recipe book for the drinks this is how it looks and it's purple like I said so these are the shades aren't these shades beautiful like glam light I have about two or maybe three palettes from them oh no I got probably like four four palettes from them already and I never am disappointed with the shades so we're just going to swatch a couple of the shades because you all know I'll come back and do a look eventually with the palette so I think I'm gonna swatch this it says sparkling and probably this deep vintage purple shade because I'm obsessed with purple. So those are the two shades. Let's swatch those right quick. Ooh, that vintage shade is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's buttery and it's smooth. Yes. So those are the two shades, sparkling and vintage from the wine palette. Like I said, I've never had a problem so far with Glam Light and their pigment and being able to blend their shadows. Like everything always blends so easy. Next up is Margarita palette. So you get the theme. <laughs> like I said, this stuff is not new but I haven't seen these in uh, like TJ Maxx or Marshalls and this is the little book and this is like a pink red theme kind of has a, a some pop of color in there you know you got your green and your yellow you know let me turn it upside I got it upside down you know something different let me turn the light down just a little yeah so y'all can really see the colors they don't want to focus today. Come on, focus now. Yeah. Hmm. I, I don't know why I got this one, really, guys, if I'm being honest. Because this doesn't, like, pull me in. But I probably got it because it was on sale. So I'm going to swatch the lime green light shade. Let's swatch two glittery shades. Because matte, we know what mattes are like. And let's swatch this, like, turquoise light shade. We want to see what the glitters are like. So those two shades, the green and the bluish kind of shade. And don't base your opinion of eyeshadows based on swatches. Because, you know, of course, when you lay eyeshadows down, you're going to put a base down. You're going to blend. You're going to pack. You're going to blend. You're going to pack. So a swatch is this that. A swatch is a swatch to give you an idea of what the color is. But I don't base my, you know, my thoughts or my final opinions on a swatch. Always on how it blends and all of that. Next up, this was the one that I mainly wanted. I had to have it. It's the Chocolate Martini. I wanted this one ever since it first came out because it's chocolate. And if you're new to my channel, I love browns, golds. Those are my shades. Those are the shades I'm comfortable with working with. And those are the shades I gravitate toward and I love. So this is the little book. And I almost feel like I got this already. Do I? Mm -mm. I have to go in my closet and see. That's sad when you don't even know. I thought it was going to be more chocolates than this, like more brown shades, more nude shades. But as you can see, it's kind of, it's a balance of different types of shades. But I thought it was going to be more, let me wipe that off. I thought it was going to be more brown shades. I'm going to swatch chocolate liqueur. It's a shade I tried to swatch the other day, but. Y'all see how that went. And Happy Hour, which is this kind of blue 
purple-ish shade. Let's swatch those two. That one's real buttery. So, <laughs> these is love sign. <laughs> the brown and the blue shade. I love that, uh, this brown shade. Y'all know that got me. I already said that I was going to do like a look that's just going to be a one shadow look for me. I think that's going to be amazing as a one shadow look. So that's the brown and the blue type shade. So far, like I have no complaints with their eyeshadows. I think their eyeshadows are amazing. Amazing. Okay, let me grab the other palettes. So next up, I picked up the completion to my Hershey Kisses. You know, from Marshalls, I got the dark chocolate, the milk chocolate, and then the almond chocolate. So I wasn't able to see these. I think I saw these in like TJ Maxx after I ordered them, but they were still like $7 on the Black Friday sale. So I got cookies and cream and lava cake. So these are the two shades that I was missing from the collection. So I picked those up. And of course, Cookies and Cream is a blue-based palette. I've been liking blue lately. I've just been liking color, period. So this is how it looks. You know, the dark green, dark green, dark blue. Just different variations of blue, if you will. I just, I'm a person of completion, so I had to complete it. Oh, this feels so smooth. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait a minute. That feels really smooth, guys. I'm gonna swatch these two. That, that first, that sparkly blue shade. If, uh oh, don't break it, Nana. That feels really smooth. Come on. I'm gonna swatch it up top right here. Now that really feels like butter. Two shades. That's if you like playing in color. I like playing in color sometimes. I know I do brown and stuff a lot, but sometimes I can switch it up to a little color. And this is the lava cake, which I assume is probably like pinks and stuff. Yeah. Pink. I want to swatch that hot pink right here. Because, you know, for dark skin, hot pink is kind of it's kind of difficult to show up. So you have to be careful with your base and stuff. So let's do ooh, hot pink and then the glitter shade right next to it. Yeah. Two shades. Here we go. Let's see. The glitter shade. Can y'all even see? <laughs> I'm just making up swatches as I go. Let me see if I can get the mouse to. Oh, there it is. A little bit. Like, I don't need to do that no more because. So, those are the shades. The hot pink is kind of sketchy at first, but I say, like I said, wait until you get your. Um, primer and all of that on there and then be the judge don't judge it like with off a swatch don't judge it off a swatch okay guys we're almost finished okay next I got the glam light Michaela part 2 brush set it comes with four brushes like eyeshadow blending brushes and I think this was like seven or something dollars. Don't get me to quote in the price. I just know it was on sale. And you can never get by about to sneeze. <clears throat> Bless me, Lord. You only get like, I mean, you can never get enough of eyeshadow brushes. I know I can. And then they were on sale. And plus, I really liked her palette. So I figured like since the palette was really good, the brushes should be real good. Yeah. So I picked up two eyeshadow base. And it's called I Sing ultimate base for vibrant eyeshadows and i got the shade caramel and mocha and this is how it looks nice and fun i did not realize they sold stuff like this it kind of looks like the um p louise like base let me show y'all in the same like tube but it's really cute this is how it looks 
So let me give it, swatch it for y'all. This, the first is Mocha. The first one is Mocha. That's my phone, but my phone is in the other room. So hold on just a minute. Phone's gonna have to hold on because this is important over here. Okay. And it, it looks just like, uh, I think caramel is way lighter than Mocha. It's not as thick as the P. Louise, but it's creamy and I can see like the shadows really sticking. So this is a mocha over here and the other one, of course, is caramel. But you get an idea of how the base looks, you know, great for laying down, like, like they said, vibrant colors. On darker skin, you want to lay down something light like this. If you want like a lime green to pop or a nice yellow to pop, you always want to lay down. A base like that and I think we got one more item and we'll be finished hold on just a minute okay the last thing is this lip gloss set Hershey kisses I had to get this when I saw this I could not believe that it was still in stock because I think it was like five dollars but I couldn't believe that it was still in stock like this if I didn't couldn't get anything else I would have gotten this right so the first, they just look like this. To me, they look like the Juvia's Place lip glosses. Once again, I didn't know Glam Light sold lip products. But y'all know I got it for this brown shade right here. Anything brown can win me every time. So let's go ahead and swatch it. Oh, yeah, it's nice and shiny. You, I would use it as a lip liner, a lip gloss, a lip everything. <laughs> a lip everything. Let's do the softer brown, which is just as good. And it smells like hot chocolate, too. So you might bite your lip off. The softer brown, which is still pretty. The gold, solid gold. Mm, this thing smells good. Which, I don't know if it's going to be like really clear with like gold glitter on my lip. But that's how it looks. They might still be, you know, because usually all week stuff is usually on sale after Thanksgiving. So I would say y'all check it out. And of course this nude shade right here. Which is my type of nude. Because y'all know I top it on top of everything. Like the, Let me show y'all the nude and the gold shade. Like I top it on top of everything. But... Hmm, interesting. I don't have do I have, I just got I just got uh clear on my lips so I can put this on there. Let's see. Hmm. I don't see no gold. Maybe just my look. I go outside in the sun. <laughs> And I, my lips like a disco ball. I don't really see no gold. But it is what it is. All right, guys. That is everything I got from Glam Light for Black Friday. I just wanted to haul these items with you guys to get them out of the way and put them up versus just leaving them on the in the box on the floor. Yeah, if you order anything from them on Black Friday or you have any of these items already, please drop down and let me know your thoughts on them. You know, I'm always interested. And if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Bye, guys.